Welcome all y'all out there at Radio Land to the classroom of Professor Percy Pickham's Fearless Pigskin Predictions and Prognostications 101. Professor Percy Pickham, the freight train of pigskin pain and the master of point spread disaster. After much cogitation and coin flipping, the old professor has carefully prepared his lesson plan and he's here with his weekly lecture on gridiron glory and his prodigious Pickham Pigskin Report. This week, there's a lot of gridiron grit on the schedule, so sharpen your number two pencils, get in your seats, open your books, and get ready to take some notes. The old professor's class is now in session. This is Professor Percy Pickham, and welcome back to my peerless pigskin predictions and prognostication 101. Last weekend was a topsy-turvy time of tumultuous upheaval in the confounding world of college football. Bama put a frown on the Starkville dog pound. Virginia Tech gave the Devils of Duke a reason to be blue. A bunch of hungry hogs feasted on a big bowl of Louisiana red beans and rice. Northwestern sent Notre Dame off in the wrong direction. And South Carolina made Will Muschamp sky gray as Florida took his job and his sunshine away. But as the worst cliche in the world says, <laughs> it is what it is. So let's check this week's games to see what is and what ain't. Boston College versus Florida State. A frosty flock of football-playing Beantown Eagles flitteringly fly through a frigid front of frozen flurries into a temperate territory teeming with a bad-tempered troop of top-rated Tallahassee tribesmen. The robust boys from Boston hope to bake the beans out of the war-painted warriors, but will wind up no more than renegade roadkill on the highway to Seminoleville. Versus pick, the beanies won't have enough gas for this one. Florida State. Ole Miss versus Arkansas. A dashing deep Dixie division of heart-stopping hottie toddies audaciously advance on the wilderness stronghold of Fort Fayetteville this Saturday, planning to put the skids on a woo pig suey one-game winning streak. The power-hungry piggies will put up a stupendous SEC pig-style struggle against the rampaging eighth-ranked Johnny Ribs, but the win streak will be forsaken as the red and blue brings home the bacon. First is pick, the ribs take it to the air. Ole Miss. Louisville versus Notre Dame. A lumbering lineup from legendary Louisville packs up a plentiful parcel of itchy Cardinal Red Long Johns to wear into the iced over clover of Notre Dame Stadium this Saturday, looking to put a licking on a leaping load of unlucky leprechauns. The Fighting Irish seem to be on the proverbial ropes, and the pugnacious cards have had an extra week to train for this outdoor rastabout. The freezing forecast may play a part, but won't be near as frosty as Petrino's cold, cold heart. Percy's pick in a chill bumping upset, Louisville. The Western Carolina Catamounts versus Alabama. The burning question this week is just what is a catamount? <laughs> Will Bubba is a big old cat, like a cougar. I call them bobcats. And they have been invited to play a part in a Crimson Tide homecoming. <laughs> so this week, We'll just call them sacrificial lambs. It'll be big skin pageantry at its best in this pachyderm tune-up for next week's Iron Bowl, while the Catamounts had 480,000 reasons not to refuse the abuse. Percy's pick. <laughs> it's kind of like paying a fella to come to your party, then beating him up. Alabama. USC versus UCLA. There's going to be a cinematic cross-town showdown in Tentilating Tinseltown as a titanic team of tenacious Trojans travel a tiny total of 10 miles for a Hollywood hustle bustle with a bearskin bunch of brownie Bruins. The red carpet is rolled out and the stage is set for a three-dimensional action-packed Pac-12 spine-tingling thriller with plenty of panoramic shots, fade-ins, fade-outs, close-ups, and dramatic slow-motion replays with an artistic illusion of a heart-stopping conclusion. First is pick, <laughs> and the Oscar goes to UCLA. You know, talking about Hollywood and Tinseltown got me to thinking, and I asked some of the folks here at our little recording studio <laughs> if they thought I needed to start wearing makeup. <laughs> they said, Professor, you don't need any makeup because you already have the perfect face <laughs> for radio. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out if that was a friendly compliment or a dad blamed insult. <laughs> so let's take a timeout to give the crew a chance to stop giggling like a bunch of little girls. <laughs> but, but don't you go away, because we'll be right back. Whether you are tuned in on Professor Percy Pickham's radio network, our Facebook page, or here on our weekly YouTube TV broadcast, 
We hope you enjoy the old professor's peerless program and want you to know how much we appreciate your kind support by listening in and especially thank you for sharing our program with your many friends. Have a great time pulling for your favorite team this week <laughs> and win, lose, or draw. Always remember the manners your mama taught you and be nice. Now back to the show. This is Professor Percy Pickham. Each week, my fearless big skin predictions and prognostications are broadcast by the best radio stations in the land. So here's to our good friends at WTRP AM 620 in LaGrange, Georgia, radio home of the LaGrange College Panthers, and ESPN Radio 690 KEWI in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now back to my peerless prognostications. Oklahoma State versus Baylor. A boot-wearing bunch of brash buckaroos saddle up their steely still water stallions for a testy trail drive into an abundantly barricaded Big 12 bastion of bold Baptist bears on the banks of the Brazos. The bow-legged bronco busters will have high hopes of hog tying the hard-running herd of free-range fuzzy wuzzies, but the sixth-ranked bad-tempered bruisers will make hokey jokes out of the oaky pokes. Percy's pick, yippee ya ye get a long little doggy. Baylor. Vanderbilt versus Mississippi State. A country music capital city cotillion of pessimistic Commodore watercraft cautiously confront the crushing current of the stormy Sea of Starkville this Saturday, hoping to shiver the timbers of a swashbuckling bunch of hard biting bulldogs. But the leaky Vandy boats won't stay afloat, as the nautical Nashville Navy will need a monumental music city miracle to keep from being walk the plankers against the fourth-ranked Cowbell Clankers. Percy's pick, who let the dogs out? Mississippi State. Minnesota versus Nebraska. A gritty group of golden gophers boldly bounce out of their burrows for an exciting excursion into the bucolic Lincoln landscape of cultivated cornfields, hoping to shuck the husk off a gigantic gain of grain-fed farm boys. The manly men of Minnesota that's how they say it up in Minnesota, will jump on the 24th-ranked corn cobs like a hungry Orville Redenbacher, but will wind up getting dropped like a big bowl of Jiffy Pop. Percy's pick, Nebraska. Stanford versus California, an analytical amalgamation of academic athletes GPS their way out of scientific Silicon Valley for a big-skinned Pac-12 pop quiz with a lenient lineup of liberals in broad-minded Berkeley this Saturday. The Golden Bears of the Bay will be Wi-Fi rough and ready against the calculating Cardinal Geek Squad, but will wind up watching the victory tide roll away while sitting on the dock of the Frisco Bay. Percy's pick, <laughs> if the tuba player stays out of the end zone, Stanford. Missouri versus Tennessee. A monumental mass of humongous Missouri mules stubbornly stomp out of their Show Me State stables to take on an ornery arrangement of orange-colored hombres in a head-knocking Knox Vegas all-out altercation. The Ram Bunch's rocket toppers will run with reckless abandon, but their strenuous strain will be a drain as the big orange runs out of juice and lets the mules get loose. Percy's pick in an SEC upset, Missouri. Thanksgiving is coming up and we're looking forward to sharing it with our loved ones. Mrs. Pickham is already busy in the kitchen. <laughs> we only have five family members coming to our house, but Mrs. Pickham cooks enough food for 15. <laughs> That's because each and every one of them shows up not only with a big appetite, but a whole bunch of empty Tupperware bowls to fill up on their way out the door. <laughs> I guess that's why we call it Thanksgiving. <laughs> and don't forget to take a step or two back next Thursday and count your many blessings. <laughs> we'll be right back. Southern artist Larry Womble has a collection of art prints from your favorite college towns. Visit LarryWomble.com to view the array of prints and place an order for yourself or as a special gift. LarryWomble.com Thinking about all the good things I'm going to stuff down next Thursday is making the old professor a mite hungry. So let's step into Mrs. Pickham's Thanksgiving kitchen for this week's quick picks and Epicurean prognostications. Miami, Cornbreads, Virginia. Oregon makes giblets out of Colorado. Michigan, mince meats, Maryland. Clemson fries Georgia State's turkey. North Dakota State, Cranberries, Youngstown State. Washington, dinner rolls, Oregon State. 
Ohio State makes a pie out of an Indiana pumpkin. East Carolina oyster dresses Tulane. UCF mashes SMU's taters. Penn State green bean casseroles Illinois. Memphis honey bakes South Florida's ham. Alcorn State sweet potatoes Jackson State. Georgia knocks the stuffing out of Charleston Southern. South Carolina pecan pies South Alabama. Oklahoma sweet corns Kansas. Virginia Tech, Wishbones, Wake Forest. Coastal Carolina, Turducken's Liberty. And Auburn makes a cake out of Sanford's Coconuts. Well, that's about all we got for you today, but we'll be back again next week. So don't forget to tune in on the radio, Facebook, or YouTube TV. Just search for Professor Percy Pickham. That's P-I-C-K-E-M, Professor Percy Pickham. So long for now, and thanks so much for listening. And to quote the immortal words written by the old professor's dear friend, Larry Womble, we may not win every game, but we ain't never lost a party. Professor Percy Pickham is a production of CRM Sports. For more, log on to y'all.com or share the podcast in the iTunes store.